male assistant wanted. Yeah, well, she can just keep on looking. Hi there. Hello. W was that all? Just hello? What would you like to hear, huh? Welcome to Burrito Rap Paradise? So you think my sign isn't flashy enough? Nah, not really. <laughs> what are you selling here? This is a fashion boutique. I sell men's suits with matching designer hats. Yeah, looks more like a burrito stand to me. How perceptive of you, Inspector Trash Vest. Why are you even asking, since you obviously swallowed a lie detector, huh? Any special offers today? I got these burrito wraps for 1.25 zlotties each. If that's not special enough for you, go someplace else, where they have flashing signs that say special offer. But you can count on it that their burrito wraps cost a lot more. Flashing signs don't come for free, you know. Four burritos, please. Sorry, my assistant resigned. You had an assistant? Yeah. No idea how he managed to open his shackles. Well, why don't you just make the, the burritos yourself? I've had surgery. The doctor says I shouldn't move too much. That's my big heart. Why? Did you donate a kidney? No, didn't you listen? I said, my heart is too big. Ah, oh, come on. Make me a few burritos, will ya? No, without an assistant. Have you seen a, a, a baby pass through here? I know nothing about missing babies. Nothing. And no one can prove otherwise. Oh, come on. It should have passed here just, just a minute ago. Oh? In that case, I really don't know. Do you know the way to the secret rebel camp? Ah, uh, just down the road, behind me. And you tell me, just like that? I mean, what if I were an Organon spy? Well, you just can't plan for everything, can you? You could have been a mutated flu virus. Then I shouldn't even have talked to you. You're looking for an assistant? Ah, oh, so you can read, bravo. I'm looking for a handsome man to work under me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> too bad I'm busy. I said handsome, didn't I? Have you found a male assistant in the meantime? Yeah, but I ate him already. <laughs> you, you're joking, right? Yeah, if you have to explain it, he's not a joke anymore. Uh, nothing from me right now. A good choice. We got plenty of that. Yoo-hoo! Oh, rats. Nobody there. Are you merely saying that I find it inappropriate for you to be selling rope directly next to my practice? I don't know what you're talking about. I stock nothing but high quality products. And with all due respect, your clientele seems to feel the same way. Since the Organon destroyed the facade between our businesses, my sales have tripled. I've never had a customer come back with a complaint. That... Ugh, no, forget it. I just did. Yoo-hoo! Good day to you, sir. Would you like to buy a rope? We have exactly the right rope for every neck. Hmm, what are the financing options? <laughs> a man with gallows humor. 
I like that. But we only accept cash, unless, of course, you're participating in our rebate campaign. With 30 points, you get a toaster with a fixture for the bathtub. Nah, uh, I don't really know. I think I'll take a look around first. Of course. Take your time, and don't hesitate to ask if you need any help trying something on. Ah, I see you are interested in our flyer. <laughs> Very much so. Excellent. You'll find all the important information on our products in there. There's even a small preview of the upcoming winter fashions on the back. If you are subject to winter depression, you should act now. Many models are out of stock during the holidays. Um, what are you doing? I'm making a paper airplane. What else? Oh, my beautiful flyer! Well, we'll see if it's a beautiful flyer in the test flight. If Barry behaves himself, he'll get to type out my biography someday. Hmm. Barry! There's somebody at the door! I heard it! Chase him off! I need quiet for the cover story! You know, about that idiot who almost got us all killed! <sighs> yeah, I know! Psst! Rufus, come in! But please be very quiet, okay? There's only one single letter in the typecase. A capital Yerk. Isn't this needed? No. Whatever for? There are hardly any words that contain it. And we already reported on the Seder Knuckles in our winter special, Mythological Physical Extremities. Oh yeah, I think Tony had that issue. Whatever for? The cover story was about centaurs. Oh yeah, of course, I remember. Hey, Barry. Why so sad? Oh, Rufus, it's terrible. Everyone says you aren't a hero. You're an idiot. They say you brought down the end of the world upon us. Ah, they're just jealous. I'm totally swell, and you know it. I don't know what to think anymore. I haven't been able to get a single shot of your heroic deeds. Well, you just aren't as good a photographer as I am. If only I had just one photo as proof of your selflessness. Yeah, that would be great for me. You know what? I'll make you a deal. I'll find the subject for another heroic deed, and you'll get your photo. Agreed? Oh, that would be so great. I'll be right back. I'd like a therapy session. It doesn't work like that. You need a doctor's referral. <laughs> Is that really necessary? My family doctor doesn't much like me. The last time I saw him, he locked me up in prison just because I set fire to City Hall. Uh, uh huh. Then you're in the right place. That much is sure. But first, you need a referral. Yeah. All right. And in the meantime, I'll get a larger notepad. I have a doctor's referral. May I see it? Everything seems to be in order. Please lie down on the couch. Well, you sure don't waste any time. 
You could at least put on some romantic music. Just lie down, okay? All right, all right. All right, first, I would like you to tell me why you're here. So, I've got this friend. A friend. Uh-huh, I see. What's wrong with him? I don't know. He just lies around all day, doing nothing. And, according to you, what should he be doing? Well, something useful for a change, like saving the world, etc. Saving the world? Don't you think that's asking a bit much of a single person? Of course, it's practically impossible, but that didn't stop us before. We had many narrow escapes, but now, of all times, so close to victory, boom, count me out, nothing doing. Well, I can understand your friend pretty well. He's under enormous pressure and probably scared. Yes, naturally. That sounds like him. Black beard on the outside, yellow liver on the inside. And quite rightfully so, don't you think? Save the world. That's a huge responsibility. He can't split himself in three after all. Exactly. Unlike me. <laughs> As you say, he... Uh, Say what? Yeah, I was feeling pretty down myself when there was only one of me. Whoa! <laughs> Let's take this slowly. Actually, that was mainly because of this stressful resurrection business. And, of course, the fact that I had killed my girlfriend. <laughs> I see. One thing at a time. Why uh, don't you just tell me a little bit about uh, yourself? I often have the feeling that I don't belong. Belong to what? You know, everything. Deponia. So you wish you were better integrated? Jeepers, no. I just want to leave this place. Elysium is where I belong. Unfortunately, getting there is harder than I thought. At least as long as I'm trying to prevent this planet from being blown apart. Uh, I see. I'm afraid of transforming into someone I don't want to be. I last saw him yesterday, when I brushed my teeth. In the mirror? Right. And what's so terrible about him? Well, you know, Gold's ex fiance is an Elysian. A real sleazebag. And you feel compelled to take over his role? Yeah, that's the plan, yes. And naturally, that makes you feel uncomfortable. I hate this role. You are tired of having to pretend. Yes, exactly. Wow, <laughs> I'm impressed. Your use of complex metaphors to describe your inner turmoil is truly remarkable. Yeah, I, what complex? But, but this isn't about metaphors. I'm talking about my evil doppelganger. Uh, I see. I'm racked with guilt. Does that have anything to do with the factor that you, uh, killed your girlfriend? Isn't that what you told me earlier? Nah, it's fine. I revived her. I'm more worried about her going down the drain. She's only a baby. Uh, I see. I'm plagued by fears of failure. There's so much left to do, and so little time. Even splitting myself in three doesn't seem enough. But you still seem pretty relaxed to me. Oh, you thought I was talking about myself. <laughs> no way. I'm super cool. I was referring to the other two me's. I'm afraid this is getting a little too cryptic for me. You appear to be under a lot of pressure. But sometimes the best solution is to simply give up. Would that really be the end of the world? Yes. Are you even listening to me? I was dead. You mean you had a near-death experience? Doesn't get any nearer. What was it like? Hmm, like a nightmare at first. Then I remember a light, and eventually I met my maker. Really? Yes, his name is Hermes. Cool guy, actually. Too bad he had to kill himself over me. Uh, I see. I could tell you about my childhood. I'd like that, yes. My foster father was the mayor in our village. At first he took me along to the city hall, but at some point I wasn't allowed back in because I accidentally declared war on the Shrapnel Coast. After that, I was mostly locked up. 
by myself at home. You didn't have a key? No, I was still very young. But then, by the time I turned four, I learned how to open those handcuffs using the underwire from Grandpa's bra. Ah, uh, I see. Let's change the subject, shall we? Do you feel embarrassed when you disclose all these things about yourself? No. Why? Quite the opposite. Well, you should. I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. You're expecting results. That's quite normal. If you have a hard time talking about your problems, we can begin with something else. Hmm, how about a Rorschach test? What? You're gonna lock me up in a shack? With a lion? Uh, it's an association game with cards. Oh, a card game? <laughs> Fine with me, but don't get your hopes up. I always win at cards because I'm the coolest guy there is. Much more so than my father, yeah, for example. Uh, if you say so, let's get started then. Penis! <laughs> no, I mean, I'm ready. So, what do you see in this picture? Elysium taking off towards Utopia. And that does not worry you? You know the rumors about the Elysians giving the order to blow up Deponia, right? <laughs> Do I know them? <laughs> I started them. Uh, I see. Perhaps we should proceed with the next picture. What do you see here? A gorgeous butterfly. You what? A butterfly, you know, flitting through the air. Not a care in the world. Ah, uh, I see. Was that wrong? In that case, I would like to use my lifeline. This is not about being right or wrong. It's just that most people see something different in this picture. <laughs> most people are idiots. They wouldn't know a butterfly if it fluttered up their butt. Uh. I see. Interesting. Let's look at the next picture. What do you see here? That's me saving the world. Please be serious, will you? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one with the funny glasses. Right. That's it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no therapy here for people like you. Maybe you should consult an exorcist instead. And please stay away from me. Far away. Hands off. The antidepressants are for patients who are not beyond hope. Just FYI, this time, I'm breaking it off on purpose. Well, of course, I mean I, I'm going to uh, adjust it just a little bit more. Oopsie. The reception is okay, but I'm absolutely certain 
On this frequency, all I'll get is some idiotic ham radio operator. This is the high security frequency of the Edison Virological Hazardous Waste Eradicator. How can I help you? Uh, I hope this won't happen again. Uh, please excuse me, wrong number. Take care. Say what? We're supposed to open the container and release the zombie viruses into the air? What? No, no, abort! Abort! Password verified. Virus container open. I hope you know where to... Uh, yeah, you have a nice day too. Wait a minute. I know those derelicts. Bambina? Lottie? What are you doing here? And why are you dressed as men? First of all, these are our uniforms. We're now office <coughs> officers of the resistance! <laughs> officers. <laughs> Cute. Moreover, it's Private Lottie to you now and Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Do you hear that, Blotty? I think Ruf... I think Rufus is making fun of us, Sergeant! I think he's looking for a new set of teeth. Ladies, ladies, please stay calm. Don't get your panties in a knot. That causes chafing. <laughs> Where are the real rebels? What do you mean, real? Do you think this is a dream or something? Want me to poke you with a needle? I got one right here. I could stick it all the way in if I have to. No, no, I, I mean, I meant the true rebels. Janosch, Garleth, Leibold, the old gang, you know. Oh, them. Janosch is left on a mission, far as I know. Garleth and Leibold are in the camp, uh, right behind that gate. Huh. Well, they'll have to do for now, then. So you've joined the resistance now, too. <laughs> do you mind? Of course not, Sergeant. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, it's funny because you're women. <laughs> Don't you get it? Oh, for pity's sake. I always knew you was an idiot, but a sexist idiot? What? No, no. It's got nothing to do with sexism. Some things just don't fit together. Women in the resistance. I mean, that's like, you know, putting a sombrero on a wombat. <laughs> <coughs> Ho, ho, ho! Sombrero! You see, even Lottie finds it funny. And I don't think it's because she's prejudiced against toxicants, right? Never! Or wombats. Oh, I love wombats. They're so... Uh -huh. They're useful animals! Exactly. Just like women. Attention! Superior officer present! Ah! Where? Behind you! <laughs> Naturally, I was referring to myself you herbal cannon fodder supplement. Yeah, right. We're only taking orders from our squad leader. Yeah, well, I don't care who that is. She's under my command as well. I'm the big chief, after all. <laughs> nice try, Rufus. But we know the general, and you're not him. The what? The general? <laughs> squad leaders? Generals? Have I really been gone that long? I don't want to bother you uh, any longer. You can't be serious. All right, I don't have time to bother you any longer. That's more like it. Yoo-hoo! Open up! Yes? Libel! What luck? Uh, let me in. Do I know you? Excuse me? It's me, Rufus. Come on, you must recognize your leader. You look like Rufus, but you can't be him. Rufus made it to the Upper Ascension Station with Yanosh. Yeah, but I'm right here. That's your opinion. Ugh, I don't have time for this nonsense. Who's in charge here? A new leader. Well, then let me in. I, I want to talk to him. No, I can't. How can I be sure you're not an Organum spy? <laughs> that takes the cake. After all... <laughs> I started this rebellion. Oh, and is there anyone who can attest to that? You mean besides you? Yes, precisely. Somebody else has to vouch for you? Huh. This is a bunch of bureaucratic nonsense. But all right, I'll be right back. And you can get ready to do a few push-ups.
Hello, you two lovely ladies. You again? What do you want? I need someone who can identify me. You are Rofus! Yeah, I know that, but Liebold appears to have forgotten. So will you come to the gate with me, so he'll finally let me into the camp? Maybe later. We're on an important mission right now. Oh yeah? You're painting each other's nails? Nah. We're giving each other tattoos of our squad insignia. Unfortunately, we're still missing a suitable design! <laughs> what about a little pony? Or a adorable kitten paw prints? Are you trying to tell us we're not tough enough? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I suggested that because I'm, I'm a macho male. Uh, not because I, I love adorable <coughs> kitten paw prints. If you want to test the toughness of my fists, just let me know. Can't you take a short break to identify me at the gate? Not until we find the right design for the squad insignia. Our squad leader says it will boost our team spirit! Spirit? I thought you were on duty. Team spirit, Rufus! Don't you even know what... Ah, just forget it. I've got an idea for your squad insignia. Let's hear it. What about a shark? Huh. That's not a bad idea. Mm. Don't you think a shark might make me look fat? Uh, that would depend on the color. What about... <coughs> Dusky pink! Uh, but then it won't go with the shoes. What about a mop? Oh, so we can mop up the blood and gore of our enemies, right? No, Private. He's only trying to insult us. But if he carries on, he'll wish he had a mop for his own guts. I'm sure you'll find something suitable. If you think of anything else, keep it to yourself. Unless it's actually good. Bozo's sick. Ah, uh, not his milk allergy acting up again. Tell him I'm not gonna hold back his hair this time. Yeah, that's no fun. For sure. But that's not what I was referring to. I think he's depressed. Because of the planet's destruction? Ah, no idea. He's totally lethargic. Just muttering to himself. Ah, he doesn't have to worry. The new general has a plan. I have a plan too. Huh. In that case, I take it all back. He should be very worried indeed. I don't want to bother you uh, any longer. Oh, you can't be serious. All right, I don't have time to bother you any longer. That's more like it. Hey, there's something moving there. Isn't that... <gasps> of course, that's baby Bozo in great danger. I have to tell Barry about it. Look at that! I landed right at the foot of the Upper Ascension Station, the site of the Organon Headquarters, and the birth of the last high boat to Elysium. I need to be careful from now on. Well, more careful than usual. This place is crawling with Organons. They're obviously withdrawing from the city. I wonder what they're planning. Maybe I can eavesdrop. Move! Hurry it up! There are still some crates that are bound for Elysium. No, not that one! It's supposed to go to the third intermediate level! Yoo-hoo! Hello! Oh, rats. Nobody there.
Huh? What's that? And to conclude today's show, I have a very special treat for you. You all know him, you all love him, and here he is now with his current smash hit, Cowboy Dodo, with Look At Me! A solar-powered, illuminated sign. You don't know what you want, where you stand. There's no plan except the one with the big old label goals for the future. Constantly what? you choose to do and you have to choose. Never seeking exposition, that's okay, man, for it suits you. Style of life, you're self-sufficient like a cop. I went for solar, never pull a thing on sofa. But if you did it be on your own account, you never ask if I should skip every tutorial. You have your own, you've never cited oh, any of it. Like what's it. not so far, amigo? What's off of your big ego? The only thing that's bugging me is every time that we go. Hey, what's up, are you go? Why is every moron struck by luck? Why am I stuck in the muck while every jerk is worth the look? If you never ask for help, it suits yourself with LRV. You wanna know? Know how it's been done, just look at me. Does it hurt to face the fact? Have your optics track and check? Die and act a remedy, just look at me. Did you die? I'm just quadruple, need your loopholes for your pupil. Is it still too hot to see? Well, look at me. They call me Cowboy Dodo. Cowboy Dodo. They call me <laughs> what do you know? Cowboy the Dodo. Organon is a Cowboy Dodo, Dodo fan. Dodo. Now that he's distracted, I just Cowboy. have to find an open crate. Preferably Call one that will be taken to Elysium, and then it's goodbye to Tonya. <laughs> Pity the goal is here. I shouldn't have left her fate in the hands of that stupid other Rufus. Same old story. If you want something done right, do it yourself. I bet those other two are doing it well with me. There we go. This one is going to Elysium. Darn! It's security is a combination lock. According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elizabeth. I have to find another crate. There we go. This one is going to Elysium. Oh, darn! It's secure with a combination lock. According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elysium. I have to find another crate. According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elysium. I have to find another crate. There we go. This one is going to Elysium. Oh, darn. I can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. we go. This one is going to Elysium. Oh, darn. I can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. There we go. This one is going to Elysium. Oh, darn. It's a cure with a combination lock. Also Elysium. Perfect. Darn. It's too small for me to hide. There's no label here. I have to find another crate. search for the right crate will take a while. But who cares? I bet I'm a lot closer to the goal than the other two. <laughs> I wonder what they're up to. That's a waste of time. I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. I have to find another crate. That's a waste of time. I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. Find another crate.
This is, uh, what? A pacifier? At least, it feels like a pacifier. Somewhat drooly and, uh, well, pacifier shaped. Here we go. Vic, that should shut her up for now. Here we go. <gasps> ha, got it. Here we go. <gasps> I got it. There, the kindling is stuck in the crevice. And now? Hey, sure, I can light a fire this way. Ha <laughs> ha, success! Is there anything I can't set on fire? Say something, Goal. <laughs> Goal. Uh-oh. <laughs> Very funny. Just so you know, that was all part of the plan. And anyway, we have more important things to do now. We have to find that what's it acid and, and turn you back into a real person. It's such a nice day outside, and I'm hanging out in the sewer. Something's moving back there. You said, what? Are you calling me a, a scaredy cat? Yeah, okay. You're welcome to go look for yourself, Miss Loudmouth. Yeah, you see? Once you're big again, I will never kill you, chop you in thirds, or turn you into an infant again. I promise. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> you forgive everything I do. That's what I like about you. Oh, yeah. Uh, one more thing. Before I shine a light into the darkness there, always keep yourself between me and the man-eating monsters. We don't want anything to happen to me, after all. <laughs> I can't believe how stupid those organons are. <laughs> and now, after the unparalleled success of Look At Me, we are pleased to be able to present you with the first exclusive preview of his new single. Here, for your listening pleasure, comes Cowboy Dodo. And look around! Oh no, not the B-side too.
wow You just can't get your eyes off me Can you whisper fairy Yuki fairy show is over I'm a venue Don't you ever have to blink What are you some kind of guppy Why don't you just watch a bunny on my video with a puppy Look done once if you get it Now we're done enough already I'll just stroll off somewhere else And you stay here nice and steady right Oh well it's no better What's the matter I'm a bolding is a bogey I might not say what the thing you are beholding Man you stare at me as if there was just rubbish on the telly And I cannot even blame you for I also have a belly full of living here Where all you see is land was full of litter I home I eat the pony here I know it may sound bitter But somewhere up Elysium is bound to be found You're just facing the wrong way so turn around Didn't we agree nothing here for you to see Now good lost never be found just look around Got a stiff neck maybe whiplash wearing blinkers Got your hip flash out your deaf and grave got bound man look around Listen to the cowboy dodo Cowboy dodo Deebly da bop look around Look around Listen to the cowboy dodo <laughs> He's actually got a point. People really should look around and learn more of their lives. Otherwise, they miss out on all the intruders! Alarm! Look around you. It's worse than I feared. Are you my daddy? Uh, I hope not. And, and if I am, then you must take after your mother. I'm Rufus. Please excuse my sister's lack of restraint. She's just glad that we finally found a grown-up. I'm Rusty, that's Gretchen, and our little brother is called Hansel. The soda straw is called Hansel? <laughs> Your parents are real sadists, I guess. Well, put it this way, they abandoned us down here in the sewers. We've been stumbling around in the dark by ourselves for quite a while. Could you maybe help us? Of course I could, but I don't want to. Beat it! That isn't the proper reaction. As a grown-up, you have a responsibility to help poor children in need. I've already got one ankle biter around my neck. Help yourselves. Shoo! 